Hello student, in this lecture we are going to study the tenses, okay. In English there are 12 tenses, okay, simple present tense, uh, present tense, past tense and future tense, okay. All these are divided into uh, four, four kinds for each, okay, the simple, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous so uh, with the mixing of these kinds the total there are total 12 tenses first is simple present tense continuous present tense perfect present tense and perfect continuous present tense okay next simple past tense the continuous past tense perfect past tense perfect past tense simple uh, uh, perfect continuous past tense and simple future tense continuous future tense perfect future tense and per, uh, perfect continuous future tense so um, before we are going to study the sentences in different types of uh, tenses we must understand the uses of verb uh, in the different tenses okay the best form of the verb is to do and to be okay the to do uh, means uh, something which uh, which was uh, something the act of the subject okay so the verb to do has a, a form a different types of uh, say, uh, words in the different tenses okay it transforms itself into different types uh, with the different tenses okay the first uh, tense uh, that is the simple present tense um, the do is come or use as it is okay the verb which we used in the sentence is also come as it is with its base form with the suffix of s or es okay uh, next in simple past tense the do changes uh, itself as a did okay we used do in a simple present tense or does in a simple present tense does is used uh, for the ne uh, negative sentence in the simple present tense okay so in present tense uh, the verb to do is used as a do or does okay it changes itself uh, as a did in the past tense so uh, yeah, and uh, the verb come itself as a base for in a base form uh, with the ed is suffixed with it okay so the do changes itself in a past tense as a did okay. then the do changes itself as a will uh, and shall in future tense okay in simple future tense do changes itself as a will and shall okay it comes with the verb so next it is the continuous uh, present tense in continuous present tense uh, do uh, come with the uh, uh, with the subject as a uh, am is and are am is or are okay so uh, if i uh, is a singular subject then it is used as a m i m okay or it is come with the second form that is he she so uh, it is used as a is he is she is it is okay and it is come with the third person uh, in plural form that is they then it is used as a they are okay that is used as a they are for this okay and uh, in the past uh, past tense uh, past continuous tense uh, it changes as a, or it uh, do is used as a was and where okay was and where while it is used as a will be or shall be so in simple it is come as it is will and shall with the verb but in continuous tense it comes with the will be and shall be with the verb and 
with ing suffixing to the verb okay ing suffixing to the verb so <coughs> it is changes with the tenses the verb changes its form with the tenses of the sentence next the perfect present tense next is perfect present tense okay where the do changes itself as a have and has with the verb with s and es suffix okay have with the verb s and es and has with the verb with s and es okay <coughs> so in perfect past tense in perfect past tense <coughs> it uh, it changes have changes as a had okay with verb and uh, with the suffix to the verb en with the suffix en to the verb okay in future perf uh, future perfect tense uh, will be will be or shall be changes itself with will have or shall have with the verb and uh, suffix of en okay verb of uh, verb and suffix en remains in the past perfect as it is in the future uh, perfect okay but the helping verb that uh, do is changes itself from uh, will be to will have and shall be with the shall have okay next that is perfect continuous present tense the perfect per, uh, uh, continuous present tense um, to do uh, form as a have been to do form itself as a have been with the verb with ing suffixing and next it is changes itself in a past tense the had had change uh, comes with the had been okay had comes with the had been with verb suffixing ing so there are two continuous um, uses continuous uh, you, uh, form of uses of verb the it is identical there there is ing form ing form so how we recognize that the continuous tense and with perfect continuous tense there is a difference in the verb form okay in perfect continuous it is used as a have been but it comes as uh, in the form of am and is and are in the uh, continuous tense with the perfect continuous it uh, the been is added with the verb okay the been is added with the verb okay now in past perfect continuous tense the uh, had been is used in the sentence okay in perfect past tense only had is used but in perfect continuous past tense the had been is used okay and last that is the perfect continuous future tense the will have changes as a will have been and shall have changes a shall have been okay so the been is added with the will have and shall have in a perfect continuous future tense and the verb come as it is with the ing suffixing it okay next before we going to uh, study the examples in the different tenses we must understand the some rules of using verb in different sent, uh, tenses okay in a simple tense the verb comes as it is uh, as it is with the suffix with the suffix uh, es and s so the do is uh, is remains as a do or does and did okay uh, did in the past tense so in continuous tense or a progressive tense it is also recognized as a progressive tense okay the verbs remains in a base form the verb remains in a base form with the ing suffixing to it okay in perfect in perfect form of tenses the have has uh, and had is used with the verb with 
E n suffix into it. Okay, we must uh, remember the rule uh, while using the sentence or the to recognize the tense of the sentence. So we must identify the do, does, or did in a simple tense. The base form of verb with ing in continuous tense and perfect uh, have. has and had with the perfect uh, perfect tense okay now uh, <coughs> some helping verb is used for the singular subject as am is or do does or was have and has okay the for the singular subject it is used as am is do does was have and has while if for the plural subject while the plural subject is are do where and have okay are do where and have so there are two types of uh, pronoun which we used for the in the uh, in the sentences that is singular pronoun and plural pronoun the singular pronouns uh, are i he she it and you and plural pronouns are we they and you okay in this table we can easily uh, understood the singular type of pronoun and plural type of pronouns okay the singular uh, pronoun in a first person that is i okay and in a plural form it is changes itself in a v okay second in, in a second person the singular that is u and plural form also remain as a, a u for the second person for the third person that is he she it uh, remains in a singular as a he she it and changes itself in a plural form with they okay they is used as a plural third person so here are the rules that we must recognize the third person singular form that the in a simple tense the third person singular subject takes s and es suffix for the verb okay so s and es suffix for the verb and in simple tenses the third person singular subject that is he she it or any name of a person or a tiger or a house uh, it takes a does not for the negative okay for in a simple pre simple present tense does is used for the negative sentence does not is used for a negative sentence okay so these uh, this is the basic basic information about the tenses which we used uh, which we used in different uh, different tenses uh, the verb changes itself and the subject uh, are comes in a singular or plural form in the sentence while ch in uh, so now we are going to look with the uh, different types of examples in um, table form so we can uh, easily uh, understood the uh, uses of verb and it changes uh, in uh, different tenses so we are going to see that table okay hello student in this lecture uh, we are going to study the tenses okay in table form huh? so uh, in this table there are three columns and each column consist uh, tenses the structure of the verb and then examples okay in the first column uh, we see the first tense that is a simple present simple present tense okay 
द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सेंटेंस इन सिंपल प्रेजेंटेंस दैट इज द द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब फॉर प्लूरल एंड द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब विथ सफिक्स ऑफ एस एंड ई एस फॉर सिंगुलर थर्ड पर्सन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई ईट मैंगो ओके ईट इज द बेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब देन इन थर्ड पर्सन दैट इज ही ही ईट्स ए मैंगो द ईट एज अ वर्ब एंड द सफिक्स एस विथ दैट वर्ब ओके देन यू ईट ए मैंगो as it is the verb comes in this sentence as it is okay they eat mangoes and es is uh, with the mango es suffix uh, with the mango okay so this is the type of simple present tense okay the second is the simple past tense okay in uh, simple past tense the verb uh, in uh, the verb come with the suffix of ed sub suffix ed with the verb okay for example i ate mango okay the ed is a suffix of uh, for the regular verbs that is ask call ask call okay talk hmm? but eat is a irregular verb so it changes its form totally so here we used i eight mango the eight is the past form of eat okay so in simple past tense we used the past form of eat that is eight okay <clears throat> in simple future tense uh, the uh, the verb is use uh, the verb that models uh, be used as a shall and will okay uh, plus the base form of verb for example i shall eat a mango and he will eat a mango okay so this is the structure in a simple tenses okay simple simple uh, present tense simple past tense and simple future tense okay the next tense is Uh, present continuous tense continuous tense okay so uh, we can simply identify continuous tense with the suffix of ing okay with the suffix of ing in uh, present continuous the verb that is uh, of to do or uh, to have is uh, is in the form of am is are plus verb and with the suffix of ing that is i am he is she is it is and we are they are you are okay for plurals hmm? for example i am eating a mango i am eating a mango okay we are eating a mangoes she is eating a mango okay in the past continuous tense in the past continuous tense was or where are used with the verb base form of verb with the suffix of ing okay uh, the was is for a singular subject and where is for the plural subject is used in the sentence for example i was eating a mango they were eating a uh, eating mangoes okay so next is future continuous tense okay future continuous tense okay so shall here the verbs are uh, comes with the shall be will be and the base form of verb with ing okay for continuous tenses for example i shall be eating a mango i shall be eating a mango they will be eating mangoes they will be 
eating mangoes okay the next is uh, perfect tense okay the next is perfect tenses that is present perfect past perfect and future perfect okay in present perfect uh, uh, was where changes as a have and has okay and have is used for uh, uh, plural plural verb uh, plural subject that is i and you plural pro pronoun that is i and you and singular uh, for singular has is used okay so have plus verb with the en suffix and has plus verb with the en suffix that is for example i have eaten a mango eat the base form of verb eat and uh, with the suffix of en so i have eaten a mango they have eaten a mango she has eaten a mango okay so this is the form of sentence in the present perfect okay and past perfect it is had plus verb with en suffix okay for example i had eaten a mango they had eaten a mango she had eaten a mango so had is the uh, we can recognize the sentence in a past perfect uh, with the help of had and en suffix okay next is future perfect tense okay in the future perfect tense will have and verb with the en suffix and shall have uh, verb with the en suffix okay for example i shall have eaten a mango you will have eaten <coughs> mango okay you will have eaten mango so and present perfect continuous tense so present perfect continuous tense uh, the verb with the ing form and have and has plus been has have been plus verb with ing and has been plus verb with ing so when we used have and has then if we used have the sentence must be in a plural form so the have been is used for the plural subject okay uh, i and you are plural subject and has is used for a singular okay so i have <clears throat> i have been eating a mango it is a singular first form of a uh, uh, subject that is i and uh, you she has been eating a mango she is the singular singular third person okay uh, so for the singular third person has been is used in the sentences okay and they have been so they is the plural form of uh, pronoun which is used in the sentence so we used have been okay so have is used for the first form of singular and the uh, third form of plural okay so they have been eating a mango hmm? so in a past perfect continuous tense next that is past perfect continuous tense had plus been plus verb base form of verb with ing okay for example i had been eating a mango i had been eating a mango you had been eating a mango they had been eating a mango so all the forms uh, had been is uh, remain the same uh, for singular and plural also okay next is the future perfect continuous tense okay so shall have been the base form of verb with ing okay shall have been the base form of verb with ing and will have been the base form of verb with ing okay for example i shall have been eating a mango i shall have been eating a mango okay and then he will have been eating a mango so the sentence come with the 
this type of verbs used in the sentence so we can simply recognize as a future perfect continuous tense so the continuous tense has a identical uh, of the using of the base form of verb with ing so the base form of verb with the ing we can simply recognized as a continuous tense okay so these are the characters of using different types of verbs in a different tenses so uh, by which we can simply recognize the tense of the sentence okay so we must understand this uh, table thoroughly okay so that's enough for this lecture of uh, tenses okay thank you student